Okay, guys, let's talk about Divin today. But before I start with Divin, let me first tell you what cognitive intelligence is. Cognitive is similar to what human perception or human thinking is very, very close to human intelligence, like what we have as a human. We have hearing, seeing abilities that is able, we are able to understand, hear the things, see the thing, we can remember the things like remembering someone's name or what uh, we studied at uh, school uh, and then if we pay attention also so we are able to focus on what's important and ignore uh, distractions uh, like uh, what when we are studying or playing a game our focus is only on that or it should be on that now another one is understanding the language we are able to understand and communicate in uh, different languages also and learn new things as human we are always open to learning the things and doing the things and the other thing is figuring things out that is how we can get a solution or we are able to solve problems and make decisions like fig figuring out how to fix a broken toy or deciding what game to play or where to go or what to see, what to write and so on. Okay. Cognitive intelligence is actually the real intelligence, intelligence of the human, very, very close. And when we bring it to computer, it can be devastating for the developers, but for technology wise, it is a marvel of technology, a dream every programmer had, every AI expert had to make things work like human. And that is the reason why AI also come, uh, came uh, rather into existence. Uh, artificial intelligence is algorithms we write and uh, accordingly it works it works on layers neurons we have the clustering classification and all there so we have different algorithms in artificial intelligence and uh, before going into cognitive one should understand that you have to know about ai and if you don't upgrade yourself i can tell you you are going to have a very very uh, struggling time not bad i can't say that bad but as a programmer i know that i used to write uh, simple codes also to do simple tasks and uh, complex codes also but these days with ai assistance also a lot of things are easy but you can use the tools also only if you know how to use them but Devin is much, much beyond any AI. And I actually implemented uh, one of the cognitive uh, intelligence uh, in a networking environment that was a smart network uh, we created in 2016. Uh, that was for some MTech project. I worked on it and found it very, very interesting and uh, thought that one day the future is always be cognitive so it has come now and uh, in the name you can see devon it is the first ai software assistant so uh, let me now switch myself off and uh, let's concentrate on devon and its ability let's see whether it is actually a devil or not okay uh, Let's do it, guys. Okay. So, as you can see, the Devin is world's first fully autonomous AI software. And it is developed by Cognition Labs. Okay. So, it is developed by Cognition Lab and uh, it is the first AI software engineer. And when I say software engineer, it is doing a lot more than we expect from a tool. It is not a tool, it is a technology. And it can plan actually and execute complex engineering tasks, recall relevant context, learn over time, and fix mistakes on its own. And how it is going to do that will 
talk about that also. And Devon is equipped with common developer tools and can actively collaborate with the users. It can collaborate with the users, the different users there, like uh, you know, we work in a team, same, similarly it can work also like that. But it actually works in a different way and we'll see how. Now, Devin's capability. Let's see the capability is complex engineering tasks. It can handle that. It can plan and execute intricate engineering tasks, making thousands of decisions on its own. It can make the decisions on its own, recalls context, learn over time and correct mistakes. That is the best part. It can correct mistakes on its own, learn on its own, and recall the context. Then we have the developer tools. It is equipped with a shell code editor. It is like some similarly like VS Code and browser is there within a sandbox environment. Sandboxing is something very, very interesting. If someone has gone into it, uh, like we have in banking also, sandboxing is there for protecting uh, from attacks and all. Sandboxing is a technology which one should actually learn also. Now, everything a human engineer can do, this Devin can also do and more effectively. Okay. Then there is an active collaboration with it. That is, it collaborates with users in real time. Okay, it can talk with your client on its own. It can uh, report the progress, accept the feedback, and make make decisions, choices. That means it can work on its own. You don't have to worry about hiring someone. Uh, it it will handle the clients and. Uh, it can take the decisions, take the feedbacks, give the report, okay, the progress and all and on. Now, let's see some real world applications which it has already done. Freelancing on Upwork, Devon, it has completed real jobs posted on Upwork and demonstrated its ability to deliver practical results. See, it has taken project from Upwork and delivered also. Then uh, learning unfamiliar technologies, technologies which uh, it may not be knowing, it learn on, learns on its own, it reads blog posts, learn new technologies, so it is learning on its own, more or less like human. Applied knowledge to solve complex problems, that means it whatever the knowledge it gains, from the blogs or from the technologies, from the books also it can read and it can read from the internet, it can search on its own and find uh, what is missing in the technology which it may not be knowing and then can develop and solve complex problems. Then control net and model. Devon actually runs control net on model to produce images. You can create images and conceal images also. See, produce images with concealed messages also. So it can actually conceal images, messages like watermarking, something like that. Similar to that, it, it, is, it has the power to do that also. It is a powerful tool to create applications. So you can create the application. So if application developers are thinking that they can survive, then let me tell you, you can develop the stacks, mon stack, full stacks, you know, mean stack, whatever the stack you're talking about, it can do on its own. So it just have to learn the new technologies which it does on its own and develop the thing. So application developers software developers or the programmers watch out if you don't upgrade yourself you are going to have a tough time i can tell you that then uh, real time application let's see it has end to end development that is devin creates an interactive website simulating the game of life see is an example game of life developed by devin the app is seamlessly deployed to Netlify for public access. You can even check that. 
then autonomous bug fixing if it can fix fix the bugs like Andrew, an open source developer receives help from Devon. Devon autonomously identifies and fixes the bugs and uh, in a uh, programming book code base of Andrew and solves the issues. AI model fine tuning, the third one. These are just few examples I have taken from their official website to tell you what Devin can do and what it cannot do. And it, it is not something which it cannot. And uh, like uh, in this case, Devin encounters a rich repository of GitHub, it works on GitHub. And sets a fine tuning for a large language model, enhancing the performance. So it can work on large language model, fine tune it, work on GitHub repository, and get you the results. If you are looking for GitHub for your solutions, Devin can also do that. Then we have the open source contribution, the address box and features request. It can address that to addresses and uh, given a GitHub issue link, Devin handles setup and context gathering. If you have given a GitHub link, uh, link with the issue, it can work on it. Then production repository support, Devin can contribute to the Simpy Python algebra system and uh, solve a critical. It has actually solved a critical bug related to a log logarithm calculation as part of the SWE benchmark so it can do wonders my dear friends if you are still sleeping let us wake up upgrade yourself learn AI properly before understanding cognitive intelligence because you will not be able you will not be able to under understand cognitive unless you understand AI so Devin is in early stages, thank God. But the challenge for the developer is very, very clear. Survival in 2025 will depend on your knowledge and understanding of AI. And without understanding AI, developers won't be able to actually utilize, fully utilize the cognitive intelligence too. So we need to understand that. Without understanding AI, we will not be able to understand anything actually. The cognitive is, uh, you can say, uh, some uh, something like that. But uh, cognitive intelligence, as I have already discussed earlier, it is very, very close to human intelligence. And when human intelligence comes into coding part, it works like a developer. Then it is a challenge for everyone, whatever the industry you are into. Devin can actually go into it testing development app development mobile development whatever it can learn actually a new technology on its own and do wonders right so you have to understand this and one more interesting thing which i must tell you that uh, devin actually since it is learning on its own the one interesting part is natural language processing so nlp is something if you're good at nlp you are good at it at ai you can compete uh, cognitive intelligence like devon and you can create your own devons also but it is a long pro project requires a lot of infrastructure a lot of developers who can get together and uh, work on it but uh, devon is there and uh, you should be happy to know that the accuracy of the results achieved up until now is not more than 16 point some percent 16 point x you can say so efficiency wise devin is still developing but it is developing and uh, this is like uh, on 14th march i believe it was uh, uh, launched or you can say that it was updated where uh, the accuracy came to 16.x uh, so it it will be increasing day by day i can tell the ai works 
cognitive intelligence learns on its own and uh, it develops on its own and uh, accuracy is bound to increase i can tell you that okay guys so keep watching this channel subscribe the channel i'm going to give you ai course very soon i was waiting for something like cognitive intelligence to come which is actually very very interesting ai everyone knows these days but how many know you should understand that most of the social media ai experts were in their diapers when i started with ai so let's learn from some experts like me right anyway subscribe the channel and keep watching have a nice time have a nice day keep rocking keep coding